Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to the new adventure. We're in Cornwall, and if you saw the last video, you'll know. If you didn't, why didn't you? Yeah, if you didn't, rewind quick or <laughs> go back. Um, now, we're in Cornwall, and we're doing something called a work away. So, we've got a two bed cottage. No, nope, they're mine. We've got a two bed cottage um, in near this guard, and it all comes gas, electric, water, Wi-Fi, everything for free. Uh, all you do is swap your 15 hours of your time a week uh, working the land, which is a great experience for home education for the kids. Um, <laughs> oh, down there is a massive hill, there's a stream down there, there's a tree house, there's a swing, swing cattle, everything. Um, so that's what we're doing uh, in this video and throughout the next few videos. We're going to be a month or just over a month in Cornwall. So we're going to have lots of adventures and we're going to talk to you more about this work away, about how you can get involved. You don't have to be a homeschool family. You can be single, you can be a couple, anything like that. You can do these kind of things all over the UK. Um, we're not on commission or anything like that because you don't get paid. Well, you, actually, some places you can get paid, can't you? Some places yeah. will feed you. Uh, we're just on a simple easy accommodation. Yeah, that's great, isn't it? Brilliant, absolutely yeah, fantastic. Yeah, cottage. yeah. We wouldn't swap van life for home life again, but it's good to have that kind of that, that just difference throughout the year, yeah. isn't it? And to get the kids involved in this as well, especially good for home education, obviously to get the kids on the land. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to run lots of adventures around Cornwall. We're going to show you how we more of this, how you can do it. Adventure across Cornwall anywhere at no cost. So the new project is underway. What's happening, darling? Just putting all of this back. So it's uh, quite entwined in the fence. And Mark wants to like that one over there. Okay, yeah. So we need to get in with all these big branches, pull it away. So it, and there. Is all the land. Believe it or not, but down there below there is landscaped with paths, but we'll go down and have a look after. There's yeah. some land down there, right there, uh, where the stream is. So we'll go and have a look. Look at that. Not bad at all. Oh, this is amazing. It's a bit treacherous. <laughs> it's a bit like going into what's it, like a yeah. secret garden that's been in Alice in Wonderland. They've been left and left, which, which it has been. Um, Mark, Mark's Mario. mom and dad bought this in the 1970s. And it was just a hill yeah. and they totally uh, landscaped it. And it is incredible. Uh, but it hasn't been touched yeah. since. I mean, there's pools and everything like, um, there's been waterfalls for a lot, a lot of time and money been spent on this uh, a long time ago. Here we go. It's the field with the cows as well. Someone there. There's so much wildlife down here, it's unreal. We just see him just go off straight in front of us without the camera going, a big, massive buzzard. I think it was a buzzard, it's a big bird of prey anyway. It's down here. Oh, and look what we found! The park! Well, it's not a park, but... Ah! Yeah. Oh, more butterflies! Dog's on the lead. She was getting a bit too adventurous. And Leslie heard us shouting the dog, so she's come down. Left her job behind. I've got a seat in here over there, get that cleaned up. Now we're back up to the house. Let's see what James is up to. Been at work. Uh, leave them alone. Hello. Alright, yeah. what are you up to mate? Throwing woods onto a pile. Been cutting up? Well, I haven't been cutting up because I'm not old enough to do it, but yeah. yeah. With a chainsaw, yeah? Part the chainsaw yeah. gang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's running out of petrol, so it's just come more in now. Okay then. Well, anyway, that's enough about working on here. We're going to go now and take you on an amazing adventure. Have a look at this.
<laughs> so we're at Lansalos Beach today. Absolutely beautiful. Parked up at a National Trust car park just up the hill. About a half an hour walk to the beach. But the water is crystal clear and freezing cold. <laughs> He's still got a wet suit and a wet shoes on, so she's got no excuse really. Craig's gone in in a pair of shorts. And I'm here. And James Hi. doesn't want to go in. And I've only got denim shorts on, so I'm definitely not going in. The dog's been in. But we think she might be coming into season, so she's a little bit skittish today. And she took her poor yesterday. And she is a poor yesterday, so just keeping an eye on her today. There she is, got in, fully submerged. There's James. Oh, up close. <laughs> Just don't want to get in the water. No, oh, James doesn't want to get It's too cold for me, too. I think the crowd might be coming in, getting a bit close. Look how clear the sea is. Come on. Look at that. Come here, yeah, come on then. Oh, we didn't bring the thing. Oh, never mind. Look how clear it is. Amazing. Oh, that is super clear, that is. Down in Cornwall. Absolutely gorgeous. Beach. I don't see anybody on the beach either because it's a decent walk down the hills to get to it. In fact, it's a really good walk. It's a. How are you, sir? Hello. What's happened, Issa? What's We're happened? Out. Tell everybody. <laughs> Somebody's excited. Oh, wow, sir. Yeah, well done. Let's have a look. <laughs> Let's see your teeth now. Um. <laughs> did it fall out or did you pull it out? I fell out! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put you in a tooth this one. Yeah. I'm going to die to you. Yeah. Well, uh... I'm not going to die to you. <laughs> That's it. Mm. Don't, yeah, give me, give me in my pocket. That's it. So we've got the tough bit who's coming tonight. Mm -hmm. In Cornwall. Mm -hmm. well, we're going back to the most home now. Mm -hmm. We're going to show you... I'll put, what, three words on in a minute. It's actually a National National Trust beach, this is. With a National Trust uh, car park. <laughs> My um, two so, fall down, my two fall down. <laughs> so, um, I'll show you what it is and go back to the motor. Wow. It's fell, not fall. We are back at the motor home, and this is the place. Mm. Okay, Land Solos. And, Land Solos. And my toothpaste fell out. And your tooth fell out, yeah. That's it. We're just up there. So we're back at the motor home, and um, I'll put the what three words here. I'm just showing you what it's called Land Loss, I think it's called something like that. It's clearly a Cornish, real kind of Cornish language word, so I'm not sure how to pronounce it, if I'm honest. Um, I've got this pebbles with me. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to head to somewhere and get ourselves a traditional Cornish pasty. Yeah. Yes. If we can find one. Oh. Uh, if not, it's an Aldi one. No. Oh. <laughs> now we're going to go to a proper Cornish pasty shop. Yay. Hopefully. Well, it's just getting, a, just getting a, on with time now, isn't it? So. It is. Yeah. Just as a note, this car park, it's £8 all day. All right, you can't stay overnight. But if you're a member of the National Trust, like we have been since yesterday, uh, <laughs> strategically, at £13.25 per month, it's actually free to park on, as are all, as far as I know, all National Trust car parks. And there's a lot of National Trust car parks in Cornwall. So, no, 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 it's not, you know, £8 for the full day is not bad. A bad price for what you got down there, yeah. Yeah, there's a little um converted lorry like coffee shop yeah. just in the next field down opposite, actually. 
the National Trust um, cottages yeah. that you can hire. Yeah, that's it. Which yeah. looks really cool, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, so, yeah. We're doing Cornwall for free. Um, we're already members of the National Trust uh, for not just for this, but for lots, of, yeah, for lots of things. We've we've been members of the National Trust for years though, so we just basically renewed it yesterday. Um, so uh, free parking. There you go. Jobs are good. Indeed. So we've been working hard all day. You've been doing the wood, haven't you? Yeah, finally done it all for the winter. Built all the wood, all sorted for the winter, and Issa's out here now. Helping out, let's have a look what Issa's doing. And there's Issa, feeding the chickens. You alright darling? Hi darling. There you go. Hello. You got some eggs as well? So that's it, we're back from shopping. Me and James have just been shopping to Morrison's because we ran out of spaghetti. Uh, so we've got a few other things as well. Uh, well, that's been the day really. I've been doing some gardening, chopping down hedges and stuff like that. Uh, Leslie's come in as the second team and she's kind of cleared the stuff up. And James has been on the wood chopping all day, which is absolutely lovely. He's got loads out of the experience, understanding things and, and just talking to Mark as well about life and, you know, running, you know, a, a small holding. Um, and as you see, he's been feeding the chickens amongst other things. So, uh, We'll catch you soon. It's Saturday today. We're going to kind of head out and do something tomorrow, I think, aren't we, babe? I think so. Yeah, we think so. Uh, so we'll see you there. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, not too bad a day, is it? It's warm, but... I've got my money. We've got the money from the Tooth Fairy. So we're going to go and spend it. And we're going to... Oh, I can't even remember the name of the place now. Something, Abby. something Abbey. Actually going and leaving Cornwall <gasps> and uh, going to Devon, just over near Plymouth. Uh, it looks like a cool Abbey. It's National Trust. So we get free parking and free entry. Plus we're doing free Cornwall. Well, certainly free as much as possible anyway. Um, so we're in, this is where we parked up in this field. So, uh, we'll see you at the Abbey. So here we are, there. It's not, not a big car park to be fair. Overflow. This is the overflow, is it? Well, we'll come in the cars, I suppose so. All right, so it must be a busy day. It's called Buckland Abbey. And okay, and it's in Devon. It's kind of north of Plymouth, north of the wherever the estuary is. Tamar. Something is that north of Tamar. That's it. Um, there's a lovely drive through actually. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go down now, get out of National Trust stuff because we need to pick it up because we have no house. Though. We'll ask him. Um, and uh, we'll see you in there. There's no paper in there. Well, what's this? Nice and quiet, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Sunday. Since it's in the car park, so busy. Yeah, well, actually, he said it was free parking because they're miles away from anywhere. <laughs> it was pointless charging because nobody's just going to turn up to park. Go in there. Go on then. Go in there. And there's night stuff down there that we can do as well. Hey, let's go down there. Okay. Let's have a look inside here first then. What's your medieval name? What's your medieval name? Issa. Is it? Yeah. The Young Issa. Orchards. I don't now start again. Use the first letter of your last name to add a magical meaning. Issa Kaliskalen. So your Issa, the sight of size. Is that right? <laughs> oh, it is big, isn't it? Skittles. Give it a good throw. Three. You're going to finish him off, are you? Let's get a sky view of it. Just a sky sport view. Wow. Let me show you something that shapes the world. 
all over. Okay. Certainly this area. You know what that is? Now. Is it a, is it a clothes press? A clothes press. No, something way more important. Is it a grape crusher? No, close. Is it a bath? Because I can see a bath. Does it make beer? It's close. No. <laughs> it's a cider press. Cider press. Yeah. Okay. So after, a, after this place, yeah. After this place was used for shearing, they'd uh, store all the sheared stuff up there. But then they'd also use this for this cider. Oh, cider it's pressing. Cider. Is this a bath? That's it. So this is the Abbey, by the looks of it, possibly. Yeah, there's the Abbey, and there's the door to the Abbey. Wow, what have they got here then? Archery, I don't know. football. Yeah, it looks nice, doesn't it? Straight for the top of the story. Where's the giant at the top? <laughs> Make a jump. That looks like Sir Francis Drake. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the Drake statue. It's like a ship, isn't it? The Francis Drake's ship. Wow. Oh, okay. huh? And we found the dress up area, haven't we? And he says, never got dressing up. That, he said, is Sir Francis Drake. And he was the opposite of a pirate. He, Sir Francis Drake, he was captain of the ships. Yeah, you your arms in. Very nice. <laughs> New super dry style top. Yeah. <laughs> oh look, that's a matching one for mommy with mommy's. That's, I think that's a little bit small for you. Mm, a bit small. Let's have a look. That's like my little thing here. Ah. <laughs> What's a mine Well. <laughs> I'm going to be dizzy here. <laughs> so that statue there of uh, Sir Francis Drake is a plaster sta a statue uh, that was actually made. So it, the bronze statue that's in Plymouth could be uh, modelled on it and you, they used that to create the main big statue of Sir Francis Drake in Plymouth. I know it's how it's there. That's the great kitchen. <laughs> now, this is learning how to use a harmonium. Uh, she couldn't find the on off button, and we realised it's all done by air. So she's now pressing the pedals to get the air through. And now we're wishing there was an on off button. It's a Rembrandt, an original Rembrandt, which is very cool. So we did a little bit more investigation on this Rembrandt. It's originally painted in 1635, and it's thought it was painted by uh, the school of Rembrandt, so one of his pupils. But as recent as 2013, a uh, Rembrandt expert saw it and believed it was a real Rembrandt, in fact, probably the first selfie, and um, work was done on it and found out it is actually an original Rembrandt and a self-portrait.
Yes. thought it was. Hmm. That is the Golden Hind, Sir Francis Drake's ship. And that there, we just looked at, shows the, uh, the navigation of the world, as they kind of saw it back then, by the Golden Hind. So I hope you enjoyed a little bit around Sir Francis Drake's uh, place, uh, Buckland Abbey. Uh, we're going to have a look at the playground now. We're going to look find the kitchen garden. That's what they're looking for now is the kitchen garden. So she can look at all the, the herbs and plants and everything that's uh, kind of put in the kitchen. And then we're going to head... You're leading the way. And then we're going to head back to the motorhome and back to, uh, back to Cornwall. So we just like to say thanks to all the staff at Buckland Abbey because They've been wonderful with her school and they've really took the time out to do. Yeah, really kind of given a lot to learn and everything. It's been fantastic. So thank you very much. Okay, so we're back in the motorhome. We've just driven over the moors, so you'll have seen uh, one of the wild ponies. Um, that live on the moors, we saw loads as we were driving in, didn't we? Yeah. So we just saw the one on the way out. We just had a brilliant time at that place, whatever it was called. In two miles, at the roundabout, take the second exit yeah. onto the A38. It was really quiet, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, we got loads of attention from, the, um, from all of the volunteers there, which is always great. So we're heading off back now down to Cornwall, back to the cottage. Have dinner and we'll have a chill out tonight. Yeah. The little lady in the back. Um, and probably not going to do any more work around the house for a couple of days, are we? Because we've done, so I think you've said that we have to do 15 hours worth of work a week, but we've well done, well done that this week already. So we we'll have a couple of days where we're just going to chill out and then get back to Olympic on Tuesday. Wednesday. Wednesday? Wednesday, yeah. Okay. So a bit more exploring to do. Um, maybe have a little beach day again. Yeah, I reckon so. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. You see all kinds of stuff when you're driving a motorhome, don't you? Yep. Yeah. So, we'll see you back at the cottage anyway. Bye for now. So, we're back out today. Um, yesterday we had a bit of a chilled out day. The weather wasn't great. So, we just um, caught up on some work around the cottage. Roundabout, really take the third exit onto the A38 towards Bodmin. Like, comment, and, and subscribe. Really does mean a lot to us. If you haven't, click the little button. It doesn't cost a penny. It doesn't cost a penny, and it means the world to us. It does. So, see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.